hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife uh, allegedly they said oni of ife was so furious such that uh, he blasted ashley for instigating people close to queen naomi uh, to take over uh, to take the offer from pastor joseph prince you know and we do know that uh, her main reason for that is to see if Wenomi will accept that offer and then move to Singapore so that she will have the opportunity to go to the palace and finish up what she started. Uh, we do know that from what we are hearing right now, allegedly, that the king has made it a, a mandatory that all of them <coughs> are going to leave the palace, whether they like it or not. And if they fail to get a house within the stipulated time she, he gave to them, they will move to their father's house or just find a way and leave the palace. That is what we are hearing allegedly. And from the look of things, it is not business as usual at this time. They said the king is very much serious, as in very serious. You know, initially, before now, uh, the king used to tell them, you people need to leave the bucket. Uh, I, that was when they said... He make provision for that uh, Olori's quarters. And maybe what they are using to manipulate him was very active then. Because like I heard, uh, the king said once uh, that uh, they are manipulative people. That they manipulate women uh, in as much as he used the word women. But we do know that he's referring to the women in his life. Because when a man is talking about women... He can only use the people in his life as an example. Yes, so he said that they are witches and they are manipulative. Maybe what they are using to manipulate him then was very effective such that uh, after making decision, they will go and manipulate the whole thing and he will either forget about his decision or he will be dancing to their tune. And then they were laughing at him. If you ask them, then they will tell them, don't mind the king. After some time, he will just forget about it. And it continued like that, not until recently, you know, that uh, I believe God is in action. Like I, 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 I said, after the seclusion prayer before the Ologio Festival, a lot of things have changed. Seriously, a lot have changed. I don't know if you noticed that all of this good news that we are hearing right now about Naomi reunion with uh, the king started ever since uh, he came out from that seclusion prayers. You know, maybe he, uh, there was an encounter in there, or maybe the god of Phenomi have decided to turn things around, and it is now against the Oloris because they don't like the way it is uh, moving right now, and they have been making every effort within their power to see that. Uh, the king's decision this time did not stand, you know. And when this offer came, uh, for those of you who have not watched the previous video on that uh, offer, uh, they said Pastor Joseph Prince uh, in Singapore, from Singapore, uh, offered Queen Naomi a pastoral position in his church in Singapore. As a matter of fact, if Queen Naomi accepts to take that offer, because he's a res uh, resident pastor, she she have to, she will have to move to Singapore and reside in Singapore for her to be effective and to take up the post, you know. And a lot of people we are congratulating her for that, while others are telling her to grab the opportunity with full hand, full uh, two arms. A bit two hands, you know, but we do know that Kwenomi have her own church uh, in Akure, and not just that she have uh, the this NGO Women in Need of Help. I don't know if you've heard of that. Uh -huh. And not just that the king is working is waxing very strong towards uh, reconciling and bringing her back to the palace. So if she should accept that offer right now, it is going to affect only of Ife negatively you know because all his plans will not work out and from what we heard allegedly they said uh toby have been uh, advising quenomi can imagine toby advising quenomi to take up the post that it is a lifetime opportunity that uh, it doesn't come by easily uh -huh. 
Then, someone like uh, Reverend Funke, we also heard allegedly that uh, she also advised Queen Naomi to take up that post pending when the king will be ready to clear the palace so that she will return back to the palace, you know. And they say when the king uh, hears about it, he was not happy at all, you know. And at a point, uh, they said he called Reverend Funke to tell him to stop instigating Queen Naomi to accept that offer from Pastor Joseph Prince, you know. Maybe, maybe Pastor Reverend Funke talked to Queen Naomi because later we heard that uh, Queen Naomi said that uh, uh, she will not accept the offer and gave enough reasons. The reason we'll still talk about it. Then, uh, the information reaching us right now is that uh, Ashley now started calling people, people that are very close to Queen Naomi, to uh, persuade her into accepting that offer from Joseph. She did not call one person, she did not call two. They said she called several people that are too close to Queen Naomi so that they will talk to her. But I'm sure she will tell them not to mention her name because we do know that the moment when Naomi hears that this person called, even if she wanted to take it, she will say no, you know, because it's coming from Ashley. Because uh, Ashley has betrayed Queen Naomi before now. So there is nothing good. I don't, she don't believe that anything good could come out from Ashley again, you know. So they say when the king now hears that uh, Ashley has been going around calling people, that are close to Queen Naomi to talk to her so that she will go and uh, accept that offer that uh, the king too have frowned at and even uh, called uh, Funke to tell her to tell Queen Naomi not to accept the offer. Then uh, Ashley is making effort towards making sure that Queen Naomi accepted the offer so that she will go to Singapore and she will return back to the palace and stay in the palace. The one thing is certain, they said the king told Ashley that, look, oh, no matter how hard you try, you are never going to succeed this time. You see the palace, you are leaving the palace. And if I ever hear you call anybody close to Queen Naomi again, that you are not going to like what I will do to you. Allegedly, oh, because I will always remind you that we do not live in the palace. You know, one thing is certain, these women, eh, they, they, it will pain them so much that they are leaving the palace. Because some of them, it's not as if they cannot afford the house or outside the palace and all of that. But there is this pride, there is this, uh, how would I put it, uh, 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 authority and all of that, that they, they get while in that palace. As the people, they feel pompous as the people that are living in the palace and all of that. So if you come and tell them to go outside right now, they will not like the idea because their ego will be cut down. So guys, I just saw this and I thought I should come and share with you. I don't know what you think about it. Whatever you think, please share with us on the comment section, okay? Don't forget that they are all alleged information because I do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Subscribe to my channel and share this video. My God will bless you. Bye for now. Love you guys.